Hi, my name is Logan, and I am going to try to maybe make a tutorial of how to make this transparent envelope along with a paper airplane card that I had envisioned. This is actually my second time filming this, because the first time I kind of don't like it, so I trashed it. So the stuff that you actually need is the transparency sheet paper. You need a laminator like this one, which I got for free from Staples, not your words. Um, maybe a paper cutter, scissors, some knife. I use I'm using a box cutter, um, ruler, and I have a very small cutting board. So, oh, and you also need paper, preferably glossy paper and a printer, color printer. Uh, I'm using a color laser. So, let me get started. Here's the card that I actually made way beforehand. Um, here's a paper airplane. I concealed it with tape. I wish it was, it was nicer, but yeah. Um, look at that. And this is the paper airplane I was talking about. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is actually going to cut, uh, trim this trans lamination paper, not transparency paper actually, lamination paper a little bit. So it will actually form a little small envelope, and I didn't realize how low the camera was. Um, and let's do that. So for this cutting board, I'm just using the original one rectangle. Just one rectangle. And I have no idea how big that is. Maybe three centimeters. I'm being metric. So I'm just using just trimming both sides of one side of the sheet paper. Or transparency paper. camera angle, isn't it? Okay, so now, um, on this sheet, there are two strips, one here and one here. We're going to cut that off. Alright, so now you should have a sheet of paper, or a lamination sheet, where the one side is larger or longer than this other side. Mm. This sheet is smaller than the other side of the sheet. The next thing we're going to do is actually fold this sheet of paper in half. So it actually forms like an envelope. It's kind of terrible doing this on carpet. Now right now, I'm just using the scissors edge, or the handle, to kind of flatten this down. Or to create a more defined edge on the lamination sheet. So what you have here now is the envelope. So what I'm going to do later is have a dress label um, laminated inside the sheet of paper. And the return address is right here. So you're going to have a very cool, clear envelope. Alright, now that this is nicely flattened out, we are going to insert that dress label here that you could have pre-printed out. I printed it on green sheets of paper and just insert it into where it should go. Like there, but inside the inside here. And for mine, I like to decorate it a little bit with one of these tabs that you, get, that you tap for books and stuff. So that's how it looks. And now we're actually going to be laminating the sheet of lamination paper. So I need to plug in the laminator. 
Okay, now that the lamin laminator is ready and warmed up, we're going to use the lamination pouch and we're going to put this, hopefully without moving any of the labels, into the lamination pouch. I like to put the pouch that way first. And we're going to feed it through the laminator. Okay, and now we have a laminated sheet of envelope. Kind of foggy because the laminator isn't quite warm enough, but or maybe it's just dirty. But this is how it turns out. I might give it a second pass because it's so foggy. Still just as foggy. But it's alright. And now we have an envelope that is transparent. With the names laminated here. And originally I wanted to put like a laminated flower in here. A dried flower. That'll be even cooler. Next step is actually designing the card. So I'm going to be using the HP Presentation paper, such a pretty HP presentation paper, 130 grams for laser. And I bought this 300 sheet for a rather expensive $19.48. Now I actually have the sheet of paper printed out, the paper airplane that I'm going to be folding and cutting and yada yada yada. So that thing, I don't know how I'll do that online. Um, this is how it will look after I print it out on the HP presentation paper, 130 gram glossy. Um, yeah. I feel like the toner on my printer is missing the blue, but the yellow is dying a bit. So what we're going to do is actually going to use this paper cutter, and we're going to trim off the white side. And just an FYI, this was created on a letter size paper. And I just shrunk it 88% of the, this is 88% of the actual letter side paper. So, off to trimming. Okay, so what we have right now is a nicely trimmed card, and it has the lower ipsum door. Yes, right now. Uh, now we can fold this in half and fold the paper airplane. I'm a fan of flattening edges, so I'm going to do that. And if you know how to fold the paper airplane, you fold this down. Fold that side, the other side, fold that one. And if you did this correctly, the lines will line up exactly correctly, which is what has happened here. So that's good. This side isn't too good. Anyways. And now we have a ooh, now we have a paper airplane. That says dear Stephanie Doe. You can fold here. And then if they unfold it, it looks like this. Pretty nice. Pull the other side, and the card is like that. Being a little bit narcissistic here. <laughs> um, and then the bottom of the airplane is nice and green, and there's a red highlight and cute yellow highlight. I think they're very nice colors. And this is actually slightly orange. There's the slight orange here. So I actually put the card in the envelope like this, so it contrasts with the blue. So let me get this um, envelope here, and then you just simply put the paper airplane into the corner of here, and tuck it in. And ta-da! We have a letter to Stephanie Doll at 468 Lord Ipsum Avenue, and Um, 
and you can simply seal this with tape or what I like to do. Get one of these scratch pieces of paper and then you can simply just adhere it on with tape and then have a nice contrast band right here and it'll probably like substrate to actually rip it apart. Um, something I like to do is also trim off this white and then it'll look something like this where you could rip this off as the car opens and ah, ta-da! <laughs> So again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Um, one of my friends is actually trying to get this into possibly mass reduction. So maybe you could buy it someday. I don't know. Um, I hope this was fun for you to watch. Thanks for watching.